Hello, welcome again to our YouTube channel. It is always a pleasure to have you. I'm always happy to have this conversation with you. And this is another episode for us to learn more on how to get healthy, stay healthy with Rejuvenating Nature's Beam. I am Caro, your health coach, always ready to talk about the natural remedies that you can use near you, with you, around you to make your health perfect. Today we are talking about an interesting topic. I am now talking to you, my sister, you, my brother, about men and their sex drive. <laughs> Every time I introduce this topic, the first question is, ah, a woman talking about men and sex drive. Oh my God. It's interesting. And I love this topic because I have interacted with quite a number of men who have, we have had a diverse conversation on this topic. One of the main issues that is affecting men is something that has relation to sex drive and it is called erectile dysfunction. There are so many different types of conditions, syndromes, um, issues that men experience to do with their reproductive health. But quite a number experience erectile dysfunction once or twice or however many times in their life. Why? Because erectile dysfunction is one of the most common dysfunctions when we are talking about men and reproductive health. Uh, when we're talking about erectile dysfunction, we are saying that this man is not able to maintain an erection or he's having uh, premature ejaculation or prolonged time before ejaculation. And uh, this really affects the sex drive because allow me to redefine sex drive because maybe you missed our last episode which I would invite you to go back to our YouTube channel and get to learn more about the women sex drive so that we can be, you can be able to connect with what we are saying. We said that sex drive is a biological aspect where you are stimulated to have sexual desires, erotic thoughts, or you, you know, you are having um, daydreaming and fantasies related to sex. So that is when what we are talking about. So whenever someone is going through erectile dysfunction, it means then that it is affecting the stimulation that we are in talking in reference about. And if a man cannot sustain an erection, it's like it, it gives him a, a psychological problem that um, he can rarely talk about because mostly in our African culture, masculinity has been closely related to the ability to maintain uh, uh, an erection. Masculinity has been closely related with the strength, the, the, the sexual prowess. So most men are suffering in, suffering in silence. Most of their wives, their partners, or whoever they, they, they engage in sex with, they are suffering in silence because when you cannot maintain an erection, it means then you'll not be able to celebrate the pleasurable moments of sex. So what are some of these things that cause low libido in men? And is it possible, is it, could we be right or be, could we be wrong when we are saying that a man who has low sex drive is infertile? Is it one and the same thing? Not necessarily. Because infertility in men, when we say a man is infertile, is when they are not able to produce quality, a quantity, and the right amount of sperms that can be able to swim very fast and get to a woman. So there are women who could, there are men who could be having erectile dysfunction, but they still produce quality sperms. It's only that they don't have the force. Please note, when we are saying that a man has erectile dysfunction or low libido, we are not saying a man is infertile. Infertility is on another level and we are going to have an episode. And that is one of the many reasons why you should subscribe to our channel so that you do not miss out on these topics. We will have a topic on infertility so that we can be able to understand. So today we are talking about low 
sex drive. We have so many different causes of low sex drive in men. The first one that is very automatic is their mental state. Of course, for a man, for a woman, and for every creature the, that thinks, and I believe it's us human beings who think, the other animals they don't think, we need to be in a very stable mind, state of mind for us to be able to function sexually. So whenever a man is undergoing stress, even when he's not really sick but he's under stress, he's not able to maintain an erectile an erection and so it doesn't mean that every time a man is not able to maintain an erection that that is a permanent problem it could be caused by the mental state he could be going through a very stressful moment like for example we are having very tough economic times and maybe the businesses are down when your man is experiencing or when you as a man you're experiencing this low moment it means then you'll not be able to have to maintain an erection this is the simplest explanation for you to maintain an erection, the blood flow must be very clear. It, the blood, you know, the blood pressure is clear, the vessels are open, the nerves, everything, like the communication, the system is happening, right? And when you are under stress, your immune system has been interfered with. So it means the body systems have been interfered with. So the blood flow will not be as usual as when your immune system is strong enough. Something else that also causes low sex drive in men is over excess intake of alcohol, processed foods, cigarettes, like intake of foods or drinks that interfere with your immune system. They interfere with your blood flow. They interfere with, um, with your cholesterol. They will, some, of, some of these foods that we take, like for example, if you are used to taking very fatty foods every now and then, it means eventually you will have high cholesterol. The high cholesterol will clog the blood vessels. The blood flow will be blocked. So be careful what you put in your mouth. Be very careful what you put in your mouth. Does it mean that you shouldn't eat junk food? Well, once in a while you can indulge if it's your weakness, but have a way out. And the next way out of how you can solve this is physical activity. You need to engage in physical activity. Physical activity does not exactly mean you have to go to the gym. There are things you can do even in your own house. You can skip rope. You can go up the stairs, down the stairs as many times as possible. Inter interesting enough, sex is the most engaging form of physical activity. It is Sex and swimming engages all the muscles in your body. So the more you do it, the more you're exercising. Engage in that physical activity because the physical activity will open up your blood flow and then the blood will flow in the right direction. And then at the same time, if you're engaging in physical activity, your mind does not have time to think about all the things that are stressing you. Engage in physical activity. Some of the other things that you can engage in if the condition, if the problem is too intense. Because as I said, erectile dysfunction can happen to anyone, anytime, any day, because of the ecological, environmental, societal, cultural, whatever is happening around that time. But if you realize it is too consistent, one month, 10 months, 15 months, and you still slow down, you still don't have the, the, the libido is not coming up, then you need to think what is the next strategy? Your communication with your partner. Is it in order? Are you feeling understood? Do you have any other problem? Do you have, if you need sex counseling, if you need sex therapy, that is fine. But then if you've done all these things and still your body does not obey, what are some of the things that you can do? Um, I know there is a very interesting conversation every time men have when they are having peanuts and they are macadamia nuts and they are saying, uh, in, in, in Swahili, wana tafuta nguvu za mwanaume. And uh, in, in my mother tongue, we call it madasho. Uh, and uh, we take it like a joke. But yes, indeed, these nuts, let me tell you a secret. For a man, he needs very high amounts of zinc for him to be able to produce um, the sperms, quality sperms, the semen, and all these things. If the zinc is low, then it means that even his libido will definitely start going low. Where do we get zinc from? The nuts, pumpkin nuts, pumpkin seeds, the seeds and the nuts, pumpkin seeds, um, 
uh, sesame seeds, you can do macadamia, you can do peanuts. But be careful, don't overdo it again because we said everything, everything can be harmful if taken in excess. Don't overdo it. There are other things like the African herbs, Prunus africana, it is known to reverse and keep the prostate gland healthy, your, tes uh, your, your testosterone levels good. Um, Mukobero, it's also another solution, African. Like our African society, our African culture has all these answers. The green leafy plants, they will help you with the potassium you need, the sodium you need, and the zinc. So in short, what am I saying? Watch your diet, engage in physical activity, uh, check your mental state, reduce the alcohol, cigarette, and the junk food intake, and then make sure you get to our Zoom session when we are having this conversation on the libido because we'll be able to break down the types of foods. What are some of these foods that you can be able to take? What are some of these other exercises that you can be able to engage in? And then you will be able to have um, the energy. Because remember, there are some, of, some forms of exercises that you will engage in. They will help with the mu muscle uh, build up, and then they will take all the sexual energy within you, and it will, it will disappear. So I invite you every Friday, to join me as we do our Zoom session, as we zoom in on Carol, your health coach notebook. We always share our login details on our Facebook um, account. I am Carol Nganga. We also share here. Give us your contact through our WhatsApp number 0711 and we will keep you updated on what is happening on the Zoom session. Please remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel where we get to talk about natural remedies that will get us healthy and make us stay healthy as we rejuvenate nature's beings. That's it for today. But allow me to remind you, every Friday, join me on Zoom, where we have a one-on-one -on -one interactive session. We get to discuss this topic and many others at length, and we are able to learn how to get healthy, stay healthy, as we rejuvenate nature's beings. Thank you.